Hey Jerks! Well, it's been three years, three years that I've been in this Miata game. Uh, actually three years and a month to be exact, and uh, I thought it'd be a little time for the update on the 1990 Restore project. Um, anyway, I went back and looked at some of the super old videos and realized how bad I was at making videos. Anyway, I, I'd like to maybe make some comparisons into what the car has become, where it came from, so you're going to be seeing some of the old video in this video. Anyway, so let's take a look and see what three years of owning a Miata was like. Alright, so I'm basically just going to be doing the same sort of walk around that I did uh, when I first got the car. And I guess this was a good angle that I had here to show off. Well, so this is it. Look at this ridiculous car. And I'm gonna come around to the side here. You can see quite a lot's been done. I'll speak about it as we go here. No more wang. Uh, you might also notice that in the background there is the Dadmobile, just like in the first video. And in the garage is the 2016, just like in the first video. Alright, so let's start from the front to the back. Um, the driving lights are replaced, they're new. I've also got switchbacks inside of them, so the turn signals and driving lights are sort of the same thing. Uh, the hood is new. This is a uh, fiberglass hood. The wipers, I don't know if I replaced these or not, I probably did, but this has been repainted. The whole thing has been kind of touched up and repainted because that was garbage. Um, of course, the wheels and the suspension have been replaced ridiculous wheels. Also the rotors and the brake pads have been replaced. Uh, let's see, that ugly stripe is gone. He's got these silly stripes on there. Those are stickers that'll pull off. Coming around to the back, um, I've replaced this trunk lid four times and uh, I'm not kidding, I bought four separate replacement trunk lids and it took me a long time to find one that had the same finish and the same um, quality as the rest of the paint on the car. It took me a long long time. I'm still working on the bumper because uh, I'm really unhappy with this garbage and there's also some scuffs and scrapes. The back finish panel had been replaced thanks to a Jeep running into me. Um, of course, the stubby antenna is new, not that uh, dumb floppy thing that was on it. The wang is gone, obviously. Um, this thing, this, uh, this cover, I run with pretty much all the time now, just because I, I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, for a while there, I decided I was going to paint the um, rearview mirrors black, so that's just... Um, that's just that peel off stuff and this side I've already peeled off so I've kind of got a Harley Quinn thing going on here with the black and the red. All right, let's take a look under the hood. First thing you'll notice is the uh, struts there that pop it open. No more um, stupid prop holding it up. Let me get a uh, good shot here of the engine bay to show what it used to look like and what it now looks like. Alright, so what we got going on here, we have a new radiator. That's a dual core Mish Mishimoto type, but it's not a Mishimoto, it's a knockoff. Uh, all new hoses in there for blue hoses, spark wires. Um, painted the valve cover and the heat shield. Um, let's see what else is going on. Oh, we've got a, a new 
brake master cylinder because that other one was not good. Never changed the clutch master and slave though, so I believe that's still going from the old one. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? I, um, I guess I painted. I painted my uh, my overflow there. I don't know why I did that. It's still it's still broken here. I probably should have swapped that out with something else. Um, let's see. That's pretty much oh, and then the strut tower bar. That's pretty much all I've done under here. You can tell that the hood was not originally red. It was repainted because they don't come with a black undercarriage when they're red. Uh, let's see. Anything else going on in here? No, I just basically have kept it clean. I, I, I got that little stupid uh, bleeder or breather valve, breather, breather thing. I did not go with a cone filter off of the air box, off, off, off of the AM, AFM. Don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Haven't decided yet. It looks fine the way it is, so I'm probably just going to keep it. All right. And let's look inside. So, I uh, got seat covers because after a couple of, of attempts, I could not fix the blown out um, headrests on the original seats and I haven't replaced the seats because I haven't. And the door panels are surprisingly good condition. Uh, there is one little cut there. I am considering removing those armrests altogether and just putting a, uh, a pull strap. The door panels have been completely redone. Uh, I got rid of the armrests and put these little pull straps on. The steering wheel is in pretty good condition. It has some wear up here. I don't know if I'll be doing anything about that. The steering wheel is NRG aftermarket. And then uh, I also replaced the dash. Uh, the dash is kind of cracked up a little bit, but he does have that uh, cover on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not. So no more cracked dash situation. Obviously, the sound system has been upgraded, seriously upgraded. Um, I now have a SCAR 6.5 inch subwoofer sitting right behind that in the passenger's footwell. And it's powered by a JVC head unit. And uh, let's see, where did I put the amp? Oh, the amp is behind the seat amps down there and that's really nice because uh, when this is pushed all the way back it basically disappears so nobody's gonna be looking in the car and seeing that there's something in there let's take a look in the trunk because before in the trunk well we have this there was something ridiculous in the trunk and now there is nothing in the trunk I removed the, oh, I should have cleaned that. I'm an idiot. So uh, I removed the spare because reasons. And right in here, I have removed the, uh, the jack because there's no point in having the jack if you don't have a spare and the little crank to uh, work the, the jack. And here's the reason why. Um, that's a new battery as well. The reason why is because this is sitting so low, the stock jack wouldn't make any difference. So what's the point in having it in the car? Uh, yeah, so why did I do this? Um, because I really love Miatas, that's why. Whoops, whoa, hey. Because I really love this car. Uh, it's so much fun to drive and uh, I wanted to have something that I was proud of and bringing something back from the dead like I did I have a lot of pride in that car um, so it's been uh, brought to it's been my question has been brought to my attention a couple of times like how much would I sell this for and um, I don't know it's not for sale uh, I'm not interested in selling it uh, sure if somebody offered me 11,000 for it I would take it <laughs> but that's ridiculous I mean, of course, you'd sell it for that much. Um, I love the car. That's the problem. It means more to me than money. Uh, this 2016 is nice and it's fun and everything like that, but I don't have the investment, the personal investment in that car that I have in the 1990. 
So um, I'm just going to continue driving it um, forever, hopefully. Now, if you can recall the old car, and you can see there the original miles are, uh, was that one, one eleven nine hundred, and now it's got a hundred and nineteen nine on it. So I've driven it an entire total of eight thousand miles over the last three years. Um, of course, the uh, the shift knob is new as well as that eject button is new yeah so that's the update on the 1990 the car is done as far as i'm concerned with i'm not interested in doing anything else to it i often drive with the music up way too loud than any human being should listen to music and that's only because i can the sound system in there is awesome it's probably one of the better cleaner installs that i've ever seen in a miata anyway um, you can't tell where the subwoofer is, and if you look in the trunk, it's not there. You can't tell where all the power is coming from because, again, there's no amplifier in the trunk. It's sitting behind my seat. And, uh, yeah, so it just sounds good. I'm happy with it. Um, so there you have it. I'm not interested in boosting it. I've already done that to a Miata, and while it was fun, it, uh, you know, it was fun. It definitely was fun. I can't, I can't stress that enough. It was fun, but I just feel better in this one than maybe any other car I've ever had, especially that one right there. That's fun. I, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, belittle that car. That's that's a great car, but uh, it's not the '90, and I, you know, always if I have a choice, I'm gonna drive the '90. Anyway. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, that's nothing else to say, really. It's just been an update of uh, this car and how far it's come from its humble beginnings when I first got it three years ago. And uh, I'm really, really kind of excited about this journey. Again, thanks for watching this whole time that you people have been watching my journey here. And uh, maybe I'll have an update another day, someday, about something. Who knows? Bye. So. This is the journey, this is the car. And I hope that, uh, I hope that I'm gonna do some fun things. I hope that I'm gonna do some entertaining things. And maybe we'll even learn something along the way.